I don't think I would get nervous. Um, this year's Road to the Horse is different for me from previous years. Um, I'm a lot more relaxed going into this year's event. Um, even though it's a stressful event, and I've already said that, that mentally it's stressful there, like because you're worried about your colt and him getting hurt and stuff like that. Um, but me personally, no, I'm real relaxed going into this year's event. Um, I know I've kind of been there and done it, um, uh, and I know what I'm in for, and uh, I know I've done my job and preparation to get there. Uh, and at that point, you just kind of leave it up to whatever's going to happen. You know, we're dealing with two-year-old colts. They are unpredictable. They're like three-year-old children. You never know quite what the hell they're going to do. You know, you, the boss shows up with his wife and three kids to the, uh, you know, to his new boss's house for dinner and, and he's introducing his family and saying, oh, this is my beautiful wife, this is my daughter and this is Bobby and, and here's my three-year-old, where's the three-year-old? And you turn around and your three-year-old son's taking a piss in, the, in your boss's plant. Oh shit, how'd that happen? You know, they're just kind of unpredictable, you know what I mean? And that's kind of what cults are. It doesn't matter how good a job I do, you just kind of never know what the hell's going to happen. And that's kind of what makes the event kind of exciting and fun from, for the spectators, okay? But no, I'm, I'm pretty relaxed going into it. You know what, more than anything, I want to do a great job for the fans that are there that support the method. Uh, would I like to win? Absolutely, I'd like to win. But would I really give a crap if I didn't? Personally, not. I'm going there so that the people that are in that stands that buy my DVDs, watch my television show, follow the method, tell their friends about it, I want to represent them. I, want to, I feel like I owe them something more than the road to the horse. So I'm going to do the best job I can to represent the method, whether it turns out really well, whether the horse does great, or the horse doesn't do so great. I've had a lot of horses that maybe didn't perform the way I wanted, but I was happy with the way I trained them. I just needed more time. You know what I mean? Like just like the last time I competed, my horse didn't do very good in the obstacle course. I was disappointed in that because we were doing so well up to that. But I also said to myself, Clinton, if you had to go back and do that horse again, would you change anything? And the answer is no, I just needed more time. If I could have had another day with the horse or even another 30 minutes with the horse in the round pen, I think it could have been a completely different horse on the obstacle course. But this is a timed event. You snooze, you lose. So you spend too much time, you run out of time, you know, you, you don't cover everything you want to cover. You run through everything you want to do, but you're not thorough, now you've got holes in your program. It's a very, very delicate deal there, okay? But no, pretty calm going into it and uh, feel confident of myself and my ability and the method. I believe in the method and I believe of, of the fans of the method as well.